Hello. Today we are going to discussing about quark structure. So what are the quarks? All composite particles made of quarks. So there are six types of quarks are there. Uh, up it is generated by you down 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 strange top and bottom so these are the six types of uh, quarks elementary particles are these elementary particles right the elementary particles are classified into two categories one is lepton another one is not variance quarks okay so we know already leptons are the free particles quarks are not free particles this is very very important So these quarks are not available in terms of free particles these are available in terms of groups okay so we already know the head down we already discussed uh, this classification so head downs are two types baryons mesons are there okay uh baryons meson so mesons are two q category baryons are three q category very very important so these baryons are uh, made by three quarks so for example we take proton Proton P equal to up, up, and down. So, this is an example. So, when us come to the base mesons, mesons are made by the quarks and anti quarks. Quarks and anti quarks. Okay. So, for example, 5 plus, if you take 5 plus, uh, up and this anti particle down. Okay. So here I'm not going to discuss each and every type of uh, these quarks. So especially if we need uh, three quarks, one is up, another one is down, another one is straight. So these three are enough to solve PSI problems. Okay. So therefore, I'm going to discuss only these three. Maybe. By using these three, we can find uh, these related box. So we already know the mesons and variants, how these mesons and variants uh, are formed, and what are the conservation laws of mesons and variants. So from the data, I'm going to take the box here. One is up, another one is down. So this the charge of this uh, up quark is less two divided by three e down minus 1 divided by 3 so variant number of these quarks are 1 divided by 3 1 divided isospin of these quarks up quark down quark plus 1 divided plus 1 divided third component of this uh, down quark up and down a quark this one is remember this is plus 1 divided by 2 this is minus 1 divided by 2 this um, changes number is 0 
so we need uh, i3 component and s component okay so here i'm going to write this i3 component 1 divided by 2 right s component 0 and another important one is s letter s right so change quark yes okay these are the quarks okay and uh, charge of this uh, strain is minus 1 divided by 3 e and variable number is 1 divided by 3 this is 0 and this is 0 and strain is number is 1 so this component or this is 1 minus 1 divided by 3 0 this is i3 is equal to 0 s equal to minus 1 so remember this charge variable number isospin i3 as According to uh, Gilman, these elementary particles are arranged in a geometrical form. So, by using this uh, torque component of isospin and strain is number. For example, if you take the uh, x axis, for example, if you take x axis, this is x axis, okay, and this is y axis. This is x axis, this is y axis. On x axis, I am going to take third component of isospin. On y axis, I am going to take the values, the strain is number. Okay, yes. For example, for example, this is 0. So this is 0. For example, if you take this is 0, this is plus 1 divided by 2. This is minus 1 divided by 2. The strange number is 0 here. This is minus 1 strange number. This is strange number plus 1. Here I am going to try to fit this data in on this graph. Okay. So this is D down quad. This is U up quad according to this data. Minus 1 divided by 2 down quad. Plus one divided by two is of quark. So this is change this number. Yes, is plus one divided plus one minus one. Here I'm going to attach this thing like this up and down. And this one, this is enough. This is quark triple triplet. Okay. Quark triplet. So by using this data, we can calculate S values, right? We know the uh, how to calculate this uh, strange number formula. Yes, if you don't oh, know this formula, if you forgot, I'm going to write this formula. Q equal to I3 plus baryon plus strange number divided by 2. We know uh, how to calculate. Uh, this uh, isospin, the third component, barrier number and charge very easy. Then we can find easily strangeness. Okay, this is how I find this strangeness. Here, one important information is there: antiparticles and particles have the same same mass, and uh, isospin remains the all intrinsic values. Number of are the opposites. Okay, this is all about this quark triplet. So, in case if you want to know what about this. Uh, antiparticles if you try to remember these things so up down same right so anti quarks of this up down i'm going to use this thing, bar u bar p bar and s bar these are the anti quarks so anti quarks and quarks are a, made by these mesons and only quarks made by the baryon In case if you want to fit this data, anti quarks, anti quark structure, anti quark structure, so u bar, d bar, so these are the anti quarks range, anti quark, charge of this uh, down anti quark minus 2 divided by 3e, this is plus 1 divided by 3e, 
this is plus 1 divided by 3. So, variant number is minus 1 divided by 3, minus 1 divided by 3, minus 1 divided by 3. Iso spin is 1 divided by 2, this one is 1 divided by 2, this is 0. So, I3 component. So, we already discussed uh, this charge variant number iso spin, which is why I arranged like this, okay, artificially. So, if you don't know how to calculate this iso spin and variant number, please try to go and watch uh, previous classes. Minus 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2, 0. Range number s is equal to 0, 0, plus 1. So, for our convenience, I'm going to uh, use this thing like this i3, yes, minus 1 divided by 2, 0, okay, down 1, up, anti, up quark, down quark, anti, down quark, 1 divided by 2, 0. This one is 0, comma 1. So, this data is very big. Here also same thing, I'm going to draw this data like this, okay. This x-axis, this is y-axis, uh, this way. Okay. Um, y axis strain is number on x axis third component of isospin. So this is u bar, this is d bar, okay. This is zero, this is s bar, s bar, okay. So this is how this triplet quark triplet anti quark triplet is for anti quarks triplets so if you remember this thing up down down train is number in bottom top bottom okay like this you can remember this one whatever up quark is there right up state the charges are plus 2 divided by 3 okay the bottom of the this part these quarks are charges minus 1 divided by 3 e so this is the shortcut to remember these charges. In case if you try to uh, fit into eightfold way, so here I already arranged this eightfold way in different uh, manner. Instead of strange number, I using some hypercharge. So in case if you try to arrange these particles, mesons into this curve, it will fit like this. Here is one slight modification is there. Here I am going to use hypercharge on y-axis because of uh, convenience. Okay, so in case if you know how to calculate this uh, uh, strenuous number hypercharge, you can use both hypercharge and the strenuous number and the isospin value. By using these two values, you, we can arrange these elementary particles uh, into this eightfold geometrical form. So these are the mesons, how these mesons are arranged like this. Okay, this is the graphical representation of mesons, eightfold arrangement. These are the bearings. B equal to this is a B equal to zero octet state. Variant number is equal to zero. So these are the mesons octet state. Mesons octet state. Very very important. This. So these are the uh, variant yeah. so variant octet states. Are the, so variant number one particles are the eight particles are proton, neutron, and lambda. This sigma and this cos particle, right? So, in case if you try to arrange this graph into uh, eight pole way, we can arrange like this. This is very, very important. So, in case if you try to observe here, so all these lines, the charges is minus one. So, whatever they occupied here, this line, okay, this line, right? Okay, charge is zero here. Here the charge is plus one. All these uh, proton, the sigma particles. Okay, at the center, the center, there must be the two particles are there, lambda and sigma particle. So both these charges are zero. Here also we can observe 
type of thing. I guess if you try to observe here, this is a triplet state. So this is the Baryon octet state. This is the Meson's octet state. Likewise, you can arrange into the Meson's different type of Baryons in the uh, spin. Minus three by two variants also there. So here I'm going to give this minus variance value spin. You can arrange this spin minus three divided by two variance. So you can try this as an exercise. So first we know what are the spin. Uh, minus 3 by 2 variance right delta plus delta 0 group of particles okay then the sigma plus star sigma 0 star sigma minus star and this cos i or cos cardi particles star sigma minus star this is 0 and omega omega particle this is the group of particles okay so charge of this particle is two this is one okay this is zero this is minus one so this is charge plus one this is zero this is minus one and uh, this is charge zero this is minus one this is charge minus one so these are all b equal to baryon number equal to one all these particles are baryon number equal to one we already know that. So we know baryon number and charge number. Then we can easily calculate this uh, isospin value okay? and this star component. If we know this star component, then we can get these things. So isospin of this particle, this group 4, right? This is 4, 3 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2. Third particles, group of particles, these are 1. Two particles, this is 1 by divided, this is 1 divided by 2. Single particles, this isospin is 0. Okay. So I3 component also same thing you can calculate I3 component. Uh, this is 3 divided by 2, this is 1 divided by 2, minus 1 divided by 2, this is minus 3 divided by 2. And I spin of these particles plus 1, 0, minus 1. And here the minus sorry, plus 1 divided by 2, this is minus 1 divided by 2. And this omega is iso spin 0 for the third component. Okay. Then finally this. Iso spin strangest number is equal to 0, 0, 0 particle, and then everything minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So this cosine particle is minus 2, minus 2. This is minus 3. So then you can arrange this graph you know, in case if you take the graph like this. So on x axis, you must take a third component on y axis and take the strangest number. On x axis, you can take minus 3 by 2 to plus 3 by 2 values. On y axis, you can take the minus 3 to here the 3. Okay, plus 3. Then you can try to arrange the graph. Okay, then you can get the graph like the triplet uh, straight graph. So these are all about quarks and basic uh, information about this quark structure. Here I didn't discuss the theory part of this quark structures. These are all sort of quarks. Uh, to help to solve the PSR gated net problem. Okay, this is all about the quark structure.